hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are learning how to do a test fit of our basic body pattern which means we want to learn how to transfer how to add seam allowance how to place some fabric and how to go about the construction of all the dots if you are new to this channel a big welcome to you this is Perry College of Fashion YouTube sewing channel and on this channel we upload detailed sewing tutorials weekly on pattern drafting. Kindly do subscribe and as you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you get notified as we upload videos. Now, having successfully drafted our basic body pattern like this, to transfer is either we make use of our translucent wax vellum paper like so which will be placing on the surface of our pattern this way and holding it down at the edges with tape to stay in place so that it does not shift and with the help of our pencil and ruler our curve ruler and straight ruler we'll go ahead to transfer starting from the neckline this way onto the shoulder just following the markings underneath on the original pattern paper since it's transparent it will reflect so go ahead now to be tracing it out like so so this is what you have afterwards following the markings underneath on the original paper making sure your dots and all the fitting lines are traced out so the next thing is you carefully remove your translucent paper like so to be cut out. Putting aside your original pattern paper, then we'll start from the neck to the shoulder so that we can be able to separate the back piece from the front piece. So simply go ahead cutting the armhole onto the side seam just follow the outlines that you have like so this is what you have afterwards for the front and for the back piece now if you do not have access to your translucent paper like so you can make use of your white pattern paper this way so all you need to do is first spread it on your table Placing your pattern paper on it this way as against the first one that we did that we placed the translucent on the pattern. This will be placed underneath and going ahead to secure it with tape just like we did the first one. Now to transfer the markings, I recommend you make use of your push pins. Using tracing wheel, I say no. It is a lot faster but to bring about wear and tear to your pattern so i recommend do not use for your push pins it will make the lifespan of your pattern to last longer so starting from the neck region this way you begin to punch then you do your shoulder line and onto the arm hole as you punch it will reflect onto the white paper underneath then you do your back width line this way and the upper chest line like so just take your time to do all following your center back line down onto the waistline just carefully take your time to punch and go over to do the side same line and when you are done with that of the back we'll do the front piece same way then we do not forget the waist that and all the fitting lines like so having successfully traced out all you then you carefully remove your pattern paper this way all the markings will have reflected then go ahead tracing them out with the help of your pencil and ruler you might not be able to see but it's visible for me to see 
so i begin to trace out carefully like so the straight ends and the curve ends so this is how i just gradually trace them out from the front face then i go over to the back piece to complete my tracing now we've been able to transfer out everything this way so i'll go ahead to cut from the neck to the shoulder and onto the arm all to be able to separate the back piece from that of the front piece so this is what we have afterwards and now checking this with that of our original pattern paper this way the front is actually in accordance this way and likewise the back piece even that of the translucent paper checking it we can see that everything is actually corresponding and intact so we have learned how to transfer a pattern either onto the translucent or a white pattern paper so the next thing is to learn how to add seam allowances and to do this for beginners i'll suggest you do this on your brown paper first by the time you perfect then can go ahead to be doing this directly on your fabric adding seam allowances so i get my brown paper this way to place my patterns on it and i'll need to secure my pattern with my gum I'm placing it like so, making sure I have enough allowance space around it. Then starting from the neck, we'll be adding one centimeter for our seam allowance. And onto the shoulder, one centimeter this way. I like to work with centimeter instead of inches. Your seam is just enough as for your seam allowance one centimeter even onto the arm hole that you connect this way but for the side seam we'll be doing two centimeter two centimeter two centimeter this way all the way they will connect like so. Then for the waistline, we also do one centimeter. One centimeter all the way. Then we'll also connect the points. Then for the center back, we'll be doing two centimeter all the way down this way. Then we'll connect the points together like so. So this is how you get to add your seam allowances on your basic pattern. For professionals, you can get to do this directly on your fabric. But then you need to watch out for your green line. So to do this, then I put my glowing line this way. So with this, we have successfully added same allowances to our pattern. One centimeter on the neck, one centimeter on the shoulder, one centimeter at the ammo, two centimeter at the side seam. Then at the waist, one centimeter at the center back, where we are having the zipper allowance, so we'll do two centimeter. 
and it's also possible that you make use of your four centimeter which is traditional but you really do not need that much for your zipper allowance again if we were to be making use of your center back tightening which is this line then your zipper allowance will also follow that same line so what you have will be something like this this is your seam allowance and this is your actual pattern paper so this is what you have likewise for the front space you go ahead adding the same seam allowances here is the center front which will be on fold and as such no seam allowance will be added to the center front is on fold only at the neck shoulder and the arm or at the side seam we have two at the waistline is one centimeter center front is on fold so the next thing is to go ahead now and cut out with the seam allowances to place on fabric so this is what we have cutting out this way then placing on our fabric we need to identify our self edges this way putting the fabric on fold and placing our front pattern this way and making sure that it aligns with the edge the folded edge of the fabric securing it with pins then we'll go ahead now to cut seam as we added already so we'll just be cutting it out we are not adding any other seam allowance just following the brown paper this way so this is the front piece in the same way, we'll put the fabric back on fold to cut out our back piece. So placing the back pattern now on it this way, making sure we have enough seam allowance. Then securing it with pins and following the outline that we have already. We are not adding any other seam. Then go ahead to cut like so. So this is what we'll have afterwards. Then we now need to notch our darts and likewise the zipper allowance here and likewise at the neckline the zipper allowance this way. Then for the darts we use our punch pin to pass it through this way or insert our pin this way. It will reflect onto the other side so that it can mark easily. Then pulling up the pattern this way, the other side will also reflects following the pins. The notching has been done already. So we are done with that of the back. Now for the front piece, we we'll also go ahead to notch our waist that properly. They also notch, mark and notch that of the side that properly. Then for this that, we need to identify our apex punching through the apex this way. To set back the waist that and the side that away from the apex, I'll be measuring two inches for the side that to set backward this way. Then go ahead to redraw the side that legs this way likewise for the waist that will set back up by one inch then go ahead to redraw the dart legs like so then to transfer we'll insert our pins this way and this other way for the waist that here is the apex once again identifying it and these are the set bar for the waist here set bar for the side depths so go ahead turn it over to reflect and follow the paint to mark so here's the side that here's the waist that then removing the pins 
and raising up our pattern carefully you see where the pins are supposed to, to mark the waist that and that of the side that this way so we carefully remove our paint so let's redraw the side that and the waist that to be visible for construction so here is our side that once again redrawn they also redraw the waist that likewise Turning it to the other side to also redraw for visibility. Then we'll go ahead to do the construction. So this is what we'll have after being constructed. The waist that and the side that. And you can see the bust region popping up. And likewise for the back piece. Here's our darts constructed. Here's the other dart constructed like so. So we'll go ahead to press the zipper allowance and install our zipper. So after installing the zipper, this is what we have. So the next thing is to join the shoulder lines. This with front and back pieces together at the shoulder. Then joining the side same line. This is what we have. This video was actually requested for and I'll also be making some references to it. We have found it very useful. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Like and share this video for others to learn as well. And if you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, kindly do so. Until my next video, thank you for watching. Bye for now.